Deep in the heart of the central business district of New Orleans, Louisiana, lies the Caesars Superdome, the home of the New Orleans Saints, and the venue for this week's featured game. It's the Saints taking on the Atlanta Falcons in an NFC South rivalry matchup. Hello and welcome into the broadcast booth as we bring you coverage of week 15 of the NFL season. Just a few weeks remain before all is said and done and we move on to the playoffs. At this point, it's highly unlikely that either of these teams will make it into the postseason. The Saints are 4-9, and nine, while the Falcons are 5-8. and eight. Nonetheless, we're still in for some exciting football action as Marcus Mariota goes up against Andy Dalton. Kickoff is just moments away, so let's go down to the field. There's the kick, and away we go. Atlanta versus New Orleans. Getting underway, this week's featured NFL matchup. And the Falcons, the visiting team, will start at the 25 after a kneel in the end zone. It is a packed house here this afternoon at the Caesars Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Fired away, pass is caught, and on the first play of the game, the Falcons get a first down. Marcus Mariota, his first pass of the day, 16 yards. London with the catch. It's a good start for the Falcons as we take a look at the replay. And you may notice that we've switched from three minute quarters to five minute quarters. First and 10 once again, and that's thrown out of bounds, incomplete by Mariota. Season winding down for 2022. The college football regular season is over, so we've got Saturday games now. Fired away, and it's incomplete once again, third and 10. Playoffs fast approaching. We will not be covering the wild card round and we will not cover week 18 either. Our coverage will pick back up after week 17 uh, with the divisional round. Third and 10 for Atlanta. After a good start to the game, now hoping to get another first down. The last chance to convert. Mariota with the pass. It's complete. Out of the 47, two for four. Mar Mariota. 28 yards and Patterson with the catch as we see the replay first and 10 on the 47 for Atlanta there's the snap and Mariota electing to run it himself only gets two yards going down at the 44 Davis Able to stop Atlanta's quarterback. Second and eight for the Atlanta Falcons. There's the snap and the handoff. And he'll go down at the 40. A five yard gain there for Patterson, his first rush of the day. Werner with his second tackle in this game, and it's third and three coming up for the Atlanta Falcons. Past the halfway point in this first quarter, Mariota stepping back to pass. He will decide to run it instead, and once again able to get the first down, this time the quarterback himself taking matters into his own hands getting past the line, taken down on the 32, as we see the slide there. And it's first and 10 again for Atlanta. The snap from the 32, the handoff to Patterson. He stopped quickly, and that's a loss of one. Second and 11 coming up now for Atlanta. Less than a minute to play in this first quarter. Still scoreless. 
There's the snap. Mariota fires it away. And it is caught. Out of bounds at the 22. It is 30 inches. As the clock stops, 43 seconds to go on the first. And if they don't make it here, they can always try for a field goal. I don't know how the Saints are going to get out of this one. Third and inches. The handoff. And that'll be another first down for the Falcons. Cordell Patterson easily getting to the 18. In what will probably be the last play of the quarter. Ten seconds to go as we see the replay. And at the end of the first quarter... Atlanta 0, New Orleans 0. However, that may not be the case for long. The Falcons very, very close to the end zone at the moment as this game continues from the Caesar Superdome in New Orleans. First and 10 on the 18 for the Falcons to start off the second quarter. Five minutes back on the clock. The handoff to Patterson by Mariota. And a gain of two. Patterson with four rushes today, but a total of only 10 yards. Davis with his second tackle of the game. And down on the 16. There's the snap. Mariota fakes the handoff, but it's going to cost him. It'll cost him two yards to be precise. Third and 10 for Atlanta at the 18 back at the 18. And now one last chance to convert before they'll have to bring out the kicker. There's the snap. Mariota running this time and slides fourth and five. So will they kick or will they go for it? I suppose they could go either way. The safe move would be kicking especially this close at the 13 but they could be feeling ambitious but they are not and the Falcons will attempt a field goal oh wait a minute it's a fake and it's intercepted and it is in a display of extreme stupidity by the Atlanta Falcons this is taken all the way to the end zone. The New Orleans Saints turn the tables just like that. I do not believe what I have just seen. Look at this. Faking the field goal. Kicker tries to pass. It's picked off. And it's a pick six. And the New Orleans Saints have the lead 7-0. As the stadium erupts. Wow. Well. The first score of the game. Not a field goal, but instead a touchdown. And one of the more impressive touchdowns we've seen all season. Unbelievable, unbelievable play. Very, very clever. But Atlanta, like I said, a display of extreme stupidity. They could have gone for a field goal. It would have been 3 nothing easily. But uh, they decided to go for it all. And I bet whoever suggested that play is kicking themselves now. As well as all the Atlanta fans at home. However, the good news for the Falcons is that they'll get the ball right back. It's carried out to the 29 as Marcus Mariota, Cordell Patterson, and the rest come out onto the field for the second time here today. Two-minute warning. Getting closer and closer, and with that, halftime imminent as well. There's the snap. Mariota with the pass and down on the 43 number 86 able to secure 
the first down here for Atlanta. Ferkser gets 14 yards in his first catch of the day. And that'll bring us to the two minute warning. First and 10 for Atlanta on the 43. Two minutes to go before halftime. A 7 0 lead for the New Orleans Saints after an unbelievable pick six earlier. Moments ago, actually. Here we go once again. There's the snap. Mariota throws it promptly. And this will get him to the opponent's 43, past the 50. Bird with the catch. I like that. Bird playing for the Falcons. But it is first and 10 once again, and no huddle for Atlanta. They're just going to keep going and going. Good move if they want to tie it up before halftime, especially when you consider the fact that the Saints will take the ball to begin the second half. Mariota, 6 for 8, 76 yards so far today. As Atlanta gets 9 yards. Second and 1 for the Falcons. Mariota stepping back to pass, and he's just going to run it this time. And pass the 25, down at the 23 as he slides. And the first time out of the game being taken, and we get a look at this packed Superdome. Looks a little bit foggy from higher up. I suppose there were fireworks and stuff when the teams made their way out onto the field. One minute, one second to play. Atlanta using their first timeout of the game. And now Mariota. Will make it complete to Bird. No, he won't. It's incomplete. I'd like to see a replay on that, but I don't think we're going to. Must have been out of bounds before he made the catch, because he definitely did have the ball in his hands. Nonetheless, the Falcons remain at the 23. Still second and 10 for Atlanta. Fired away and incomplete. And Mariota now 6 for 10. As the Falcons enter into a bit of a slump. There's a loud crowd here this afternoon in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Sorry, Caesar Superdome. All chanting defense. Mariota tries to run it again, and it's a loss of three. That is going to cost them big time, and they'll have to settle for a field goal now. And hopefully they can learn from their mistake. If they had not made that mistake, perhaps they would have the lead at this very moment. Kicking from the 33. Away it goes, and it's good. And Atlanta getting their first three points of the game. New Orleans 7, Falcons 3. 45 seconds remain before halftime here at the Caesars Superdome. Hosted WrestleMania in 2014 and 2018. One of the iconic landmarks of the city of New Orleans. I think it hosted March Madness this year as well, if I'm not mistaken. So obviously not football exclusive. Just waiting for the kick. As the Saints begin to strategize, the offensive line about to come out. And I think it'll be the first time that the quarterback's been on the field. Atlanta has basically held the ball for the entire game, except for that uh, interception, the pick six for New Orleans. So this will really be the first time that the offense, this is the first time that the offensive line for the Saints are allowed out onto the field. Of course, New Orleans in the post-Drew Brees era. 
And the first play on offense, a gain of nine as the Saints use their first time out of the game. 34 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Second and one coming up for New Orleans at the 39. As time decreases, time outs increase. Second and one. There's the snap. Into the air it goes. Pass is caught. Taken down to the 46. Dalton with two consecutive catches. Here today, the first two plays of the game. A total of 16 yards. As another timeout is taken. No, that wasn't the first timeout for the Saints. It was the second. And this is the third. It was the first offensive timeout, however. And 21 seconds remain here before halftime. New Orleans will receive the ball to start off the third quarter, so they really don't have too much to worry about here. And I believe that will be the end. Or no, sorry. No. Kamara is the receiver. Dalton is the quarterback. My mistake, ladies and gentlemen. My mistake. There's the whistle for halftime. Ten minutes gone, ten minutes to go here at the Mercedes, sorry, Caesars Superdome. I don't believe I will ever stop making that mistake. And in my opinion, it just has more of a ring to it. The Mercedes-Benz Superdome versus the Caesars Superdome. I don't know. Just my personal opinion. Atlanta on defense once again. New Orleans getting some time on offense for the... Well, still the first time, really, continuing from the second quarter. 107 yards total for Atlanta, 22 for New Orleans. But remember, Atlanta have held the ball for the majority of the game as Dalton hands off to Kamara. His first rush of the day, a gain of nine yards, second and one for New Orleans. The 31st total yard allowed by the Atlanta Falcons, 22 of them passing, and obviously the other nine rushing just now. As Kamara carries it to the 32. Dalton fakes the handoff this time, fires it away. It's caught, and it, it's taken to the 40. Dalton, 4 for 4, 29 yards. Johnson with his first catch of the day. Kwiatkowski. I'm, I'm trying my best on pronunciation with his first tackle today. And it's really the only chance that the Falcons have had to bring their defensive line out as well. Since they've held the ball for most of the game. Oddly, however, they're still losing. New Orleans, that pick six, plus one after the extra point, able to give them the lead that they still have at the moment. The Atlanta Falcons will be chasing that whenever they get the ball back. And Dalton goes down, just shoved by Emi Kenti as we see the replay, hopefully. Let's see this again. Grabs him and then just shoves him down as if he wants nothing to do with him. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. But it's third and 17 for New Orleans as Dalton fires it away. Is it going to be enough? No, it's not. Fourth and five at the 44. Dalton five for five on passing today. 41 total yards. Olave with his first catch. And Kwiatkowski with yet another tackle. Tackle. They're going to punt on fourth and five. Atlanta to get the ball once again. And this is going to be hunted down. No, it's not. It's going to go into the end zone. First and ten coming up for New Orleans at the 20. Or sorry, not for New Orleans, for Atlanta. As Marcus Mariota and Cordell Cord Patterson lead the offensive line onto the field here at the Caesars Superdome. 
131 to play in the third. New Orleans 7, Atlanta 3 as the Falcons get the ball once again. And a gain of three. Patterson with his fifth rush of the day. A total of a total of 13 yards. He's had a lot of time with the ball. He's been uh, Marcus Mariota's right-hand man in this game. And now less than a minute to play. There's the snap. Mariota will go for it, and he will get past the line. Marcus Mariota with his sixth rush of the day, 32 yards. Gets to the 31. He's done that a lot here today. Just proves the uh, old idiom. If you want something done right, you've got to do it yourself. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. It most definitely will be. Patterson did get past the line, I think. And it will be first and ten for Atlanta when we enter into the fourth quarter. The only scoring so far was in the second quarter. Saints opened things up with a pick six. And the extra point made it seven. And then the Falcons in the final minute of the first half got their first three points of the game. But now Marcus Mariota trying to inspire the offensive line of the Atlanta Falcons to a fourth quarter win here on this Saturday afternoon in New Orleans. Of course, the real game is supposed to take place tomorrow, Sunday, but we're simulating it a day in advance, much like we did the World Cup on the World Cup final on Thursday. However, that was Brazil versus Uruguay, not Argentina versus France. Patterson gets far on this one, and I think that was kind of a German suplex, what we just saw there. He gets to the 41, first and 10. Are we going to see the replay? Yeah, taken down, and it's a bit of a German suplex, Brock Lesnar style, if you will. There's the handoff, and Patterson taken down once again, holding onto the ball as the pile develops. And still able to keep the ball. I think he's, I think he's a little bit stuck. You just gotta love the physics of Madden 23. Three minutes to go. Time running out for the Atlanta Falcons, but they're past the 50. Mariota fires this one away deep, and it's caught at the 19. London goes down, his second catch of the day. 33 total yards. Things are looking a little bit promising for Atlanta, but they can't settle for a field goal. They need a touchdown. First and 10 from the 19. Might be the last play before the two minute warning. Fired away, there's a flag on the play. First down, possibly. Nope, well it is first down, but it'll be first and 20. Holding penalty on Atlanta, pushing them back 10 yards. If not for the penalty, however, they would be even farther up the field. First and 20 on the 29. This will most likely be the last play before the two minute warning. There's the snap. Mariota fires it away and out of bounds. Five yards and one more play before the two minute warning. Don't ever trust anything I say on the number of plays before a certain point in the game because I'll probably be wrong. Second and 15 for the Atlanta Falcons. That flag could turn out to be a setback here as Mariota fires to the left again. Patterson steps out of bounds. Third and 10 at the 20. Last chance here. Well, really, they've got two more chances. But it would be favorable if they were to convert here. There's the snap. Mariota waiting, fires it away. And it's close. But not close enough. 
However, I think they'll still go for it. Fourth and one at the 11 as the two minute warning finally kicks in. Two minutes to play at the Caesars Superdome. It's, it's easy to remember, the to remember the name when the sign's right there. Fourth and one from the 11. Caught. Not all the way, down on the one. But the Falcons just one yard away from taking the win, taking possibly the win, you never know. Over the Saints here, no huddle. They're just gonna go. Mariota to Patterson, in the end zone, touchdown Falcons. And it's nine to seven for Atlanta. One minute and 31 seconds to go to fend off the Saints and to take the win in this late season matchup. December 17th, an 18 week season coming close to its end. A three point lead for the Atlanta Falcons with 91 seconds to go here in New Orleans. I'm not saying that the Saints can't pull off a sudden touchdown. Their only touchdown this game was sudden, the pick six in the first half. But things like that are once in a blue moon. So I do not think we are going to see a victory for the home team here today, but I could be wrong. You never know. And just strategizing, tacking it out, whatever. Before the kick. Here we go. Into the air it goes, and caught in the end zone. Past the 20, down on the 22. 127. What can you do in one minute and 27 seconds? We'll find out. Keep in mind that both teams have all three timeouts intact. So things could get a little bit interesting before the final whistle here this afternoon in New Orleans. There's the snap. Fired away as the sound glitches a little bit. My apologies. Second and two. Coming up on the 30, a gain of eight on that play. No huddle for the Saints. Just gotta keep going. It's a good strategy. Dalton fires it away to Kamara. And Alvin Kamara gets the first down. Ebiketti for Atlanta is injured. And as we take an injury timeout, we've got 55 seconds to play. Now look at the replay. Alvin Kamara, the right-hand man of Dalton, here this afternoon, much like Marcus Mariota and Corderell Patterson. A good partnership there. A partnership which has led to a 10-7 scoreline in favor of Atlanta. Incomplete and intercepted, and I believe that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Ogundeji secures the win for Atlanta. Maybe one more score. 49 seconds to play at the 39. And Mariota, hugging the ball close to his chest, decides to run. He goes down, a timeout is taken. Second and five at the 33. 45 seconds to go here in the fourth. The snap, the handoff, and down at the 30. Another timeout taken. But New Orleans just prolonging the inevitable at this point. Two timeouts gone, one to go. Atlanta using one as well. 40 seconds. And the defense chance starting up once again here inside the Caesars Superdome. 
And one more timeout being called by New Orleans. As again, they continue to prolong the inevitable. First and ten. Coming up for Atlanta at the 27. 37 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. And Mariota kneels. So that will be all. New Orleans using all their timeouts. Atlanta with two, but they're not going to use those. And now it is all just a matter of time. One more play. Why not? Are they going to snap it even? I don't think so. Final whistle. Atlanta 10, New Orleans 7. The final score here this afternoon from the Superdome. Mariota and Patterson able to defeat Dalton and Kamara. Let's go back to the broadcast booth to close out this edition of NFL Game of the Week. Despite the pick six from New Orleans in the first half, the Atlanta Falcons were still able to overcome their divisional rivals and take a 10-7 victory. What a game. Next weekend, we'll be bringing you the NFL Christmas Special from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, as the Green Bay Packers pay a visit to the Miami Dolphins. We hope to see you there, but for now, thank you for watching our coverage of the National Football League from New Orleans. Have a good night.